previously on Project Runway Canada. Designers, I'm sure that you've all shopped at a winner's store. This will be the site of the first team challenge. <laughs> and Megan, your first team member is? Lu Chan. I felt there was no direction in my group. We're running out of time. I know. This is ridiculous. I dream of genie thing doesn't work for me. I don't think a woman would wear that. Megan, your team has won this challenge. But Megan, you lucked out hiding behind two strong designers. Michael, you're out. The winner of Project Runway Canada will receive a cover and a feature spread in El Canada magazine, a professional portfolio photo shoot courtesy of L'Oreal Paris, a retail mentorship with winners, and $100,000 to start their own fashion line. Welcome to Project Runway Canada, the search for the hottest new fashion designer. Twelve designers will compete. Three will make it to L'Oreal Fashion Week. But only one will rule the runway and win everything they need to start their own fashion line. Tempers with flair. Hemlines will fly. And remember, fashion isn't always pretty. Well, hello, designers. Hi. Are you ready for your next challenge? Let's bring out your models. You. Remember models, this is a competition for you as well. The model paired with the winning designer will get a cover and an inside spread in El Canada magazine. Now designers, this is your opportunity to switch models if you desire. Now the last challenge was a team challenge. So there is no immunity this time. Megan, you were the winning team leader, so I will let you pick up your own model first. Amanda's been really great, but I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna go with Joelle. Thank you. <laughs> and for the rest of you, we'll draw names. Fidel. I am gonna stick with Ashley. Charnette. I'll keep working with Jacqueline. Carly. I'm going to switch to Amanda. Steven. I'd like to take Renee. <sighs> Lucian. Chanel. Kendra. I'm going to stick with Dre. Thanks. And the last name is Marie Genevieve. We have Lauren. And Jessica, whoever you choose will stay in the competition and the other model will be out. Marie Genevieve, who do you choose? Oh my God. <laughs> Jessica. I'm sorry, Lauren, that means you're out. Now, designers, to win the next challenge, you will have to hit a creative high note. You will meet a legend in the making, in a very legendary location. Be sure to make a very good impression. I'll see you back on the runway. Ciao, good luck. Bye. We're going to meet somebody that's history in the making. And we're going to go to a fantastic location. It turned out to be the Car Lou, which is amazing. It's an art deco um, building, and I've heard of it so many times, but I've never been. 
and we sit down. There's a piano on the stage. Hi guys, welcome to the historic Carlou. Iman asked you to hit a creative high note. I would like to introduce to you Canada's foremost soprano opera star. Your muse, Misha Bruger Gossman. I was in another place, it was so beautiful. It really, it was inspiring. As I was listening to her, I was trying to create a dress in my mind. Hearing Misha sing was very inspiring. It's just very lovely to hear that sound in front of you. It was just goosebumps throughout the whole thing. It was amazing. Unbelievable. I've got goosebumps, and that's a good thing. I do too. <laughs> for your next challenge, designers, you will be creating a gown for Misha to wear on her upcoming tour of North America. <laughs> Misha? Well, it's important, first of all, that the gown be good from all directions. And, you know, some of the halls I sing in are two, three thousand seats, and you want it to be as good up close as it is three thousand seats away. So feel free to use strong color. She ended up going into extreme detail to the point where I'm a little bit scared that the dresses are all going to look the same in the end. How do you feel about some sort of a train? Trains some? are great, yeah. This kind of challenge is like more up my alley. I worked with a couture designer in Vancouver for two years, so I've had quite a bit of experience doing evening gowns. How do you feel about showing your back? I feel good about it, as long as I have the right held in. If that's your vision for me, then it'll be right. But I am hard to please. I never wear shoes, ever. So I don't want people staring at my feet. So it's important that the gown go to the ground, but that there's enough of a kick in front of me so that I don't trip on the front of the dress. That's very important. Luciana, I can't believe you don't have a question. I'm sure you do. I'm just mesmerized by her. I just, <laughs> it's so beautiful. Thank you. Designers, the next time you see Misha, we'll be on the runway. I love the challenge. This is serious. This is real fashion. It's history in the making, basically. Designers, you have 30 minutes to sketch. Your time starts now. It's supposed to be a really grand ball gown. I like dresses with a lot of fullness at the back and big bustles at their bum. So it's going along that line. I'm going an extreme, sexy, fuchsia, detailed silk with a long train. She'll look like a bird, almost like a songbird, but much better. When I was up getting judged the last time, they said I hid behind two really strong designers, like I'm not strong on my own. So with the next challenge, I want to prove to people that I can stand on my own two feet. Okay, designers, it's time to close your books. Let's go. You will have 45 minutes and $150 to spend. Get busy. It takes some creativity to make a splashy gown with $150. Let me see the 